let's talk about the Marriott Marquis Times Square location. This is between 45th and 46th Street, right up against Times Square. Look at that elevator, that's insane. We'll get to that in a second. This elevator is really unique. It's really fast, uh, much faster than a standard elevator, and that's because it has to go 42 floors fairly quickly and I think you'll agree that the view from this glass elevator is pretty amazing. As you can see there, there's the individual shafts that actually stick out into the atrium, if you will, uh, that looks out to all the rooms. That's a long way down. That's a very impressive elevator, but we're not here to talk about the elevator. Let's go in the room, room 4230, floor 42, and see what's there. This is the view from the 42nd floor. Now, note, we were told this is not a room with a view. So, I'm led to believe that this is an obstructed view, I suppose they call it. Anyway, there was not an upcharge for that. That was just the view that was given to us. And we'll pan around the room. Uh, I'm gonna note that there are no USB ports in this room, as you saw in that last clip. A lot of outlets, but no USB ports. That's a shame because I believe that this hotel is going through refurbishments right now, and I think this room has already been refurbished. We have a refrigerator and a coffee machine, which is, which is nice, because a lot of the hotels in this general area, in this very tourist district around Times Square, are small. And this room is very large and uh, very roomy. There's the dresser uh, with the drawers and the, the nice size TV, which is standard nowadays in most hotel rooms of this category. This room supposedly sleeps five. That right there is the fifth bed. It does not fold out, uh, it doesn't open up, they just give you sheets to put on top of that couch, lounge, whatever you want to call it, and that is considered a bed. Again, the view is fairly nice, especially in the evening. Uh, when Times Square is lit up, you can see quite a bit going on down there. One of the big perks of staying in this area is you are surrounded by theaters. So if you're coming to the city to see some shows, you can get one of these rooms and there's no need to take the subway and be jammed in there like sardines. You can step out your door, you're right there in the hub of the theater district, which is west of Times Square, and you are literally steps from the Richard Rogers Theater, where you could see Hamilton. A few blocks away is the Winter Garden, go see yourself some Beetlejuice, and about a block and a half away is the Atkins, where you could see the waitress. So that's just three quick examples of theaters in the general area. So that's the biggest perk of staying in this location, in my opinion. That being said, let's check out the bathroom. It's worth noting that during the stay here, it was it was very quiet and uh, the staff was extremely friendly. Now the noise is probably due to the fact that we were on the 42nd floor, so the mileage with that may vary depending on how close to the street you actually are, but in the evenings we heard nothing. It was silent. It was very, very quiet. I 
will repeat, no USBs in this room, all standard North American outlets. So if you've got devices that need charging like everyone else, bring some adapters. Uh, also that thermostat, you can change those numbers all you want, but it has a mind of its own. It's going to be either really cold or off. Those are the only two options that I seemed to uh, find the thermostat would allow me to set it to. Again, the view is, is nice. You can see down into Times Square and over to some of the other features of the skyline like Rockefeller. There you go. There's the Comcast building and the top of the rock, which is a good observation deck. Uh, better than the Empire State Building from what I've been told. I have not experienced either one, but a lot of people claim that top of the rock is a better experience. And there goes one of those elevators. Those things are crazy. I mentioned this earlier, but this hotel is unique because it has two entry slash exits right there to 46th. And if you pan over here, zoop, 45th Street. So whether you're going north or south, you have an easy method of, of going. Anyway, I'll leave you with this shot of this elevator going all the way up, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>